Seven zero six five three zero Q H nine six two eleven Q two four zero two seven four eight Q three two six five three nine one zero Q four three seven three five zero six four Q thousand ninety seven Q fifteen six three zero zero one seven Q seven zero four nine three Q eight three one one seven three Wikidatacon Awards, also known Q as Wikidatacon Awards, zero. Q H instance of awards, Q two four awards in Wikidata community, Q three two six five three nine one Wikimedia project page, Q four three seven three five zero location. Urania Q thousand ninety seven Other sites Q fifteen six three category one seven Wiki Data Con Award two thousand nineteen seven zero four nine three also known as Q also known as one one seven three Editing Ecosystem Community Building Newcomer Friendly Wikimedia Integration Outreach, quality, languages, multimedia. everyone to the very first Wikidatacon Award 2019. It's so great that you're here. <laughs> so I have some friends who are actually not at Wikimedia, that happens, and I often tell them stories about Wikimedia, and somehow they all believe that Wikimedia is something like a never-ending party full of goats, <laughs> awards, fun ideas, Amazing people, that's true actually, and new sticker designs every week. <laughs> I don't think that the image of Wikimedia is going to change after this award. <laughs> but um, actually, seriously, I think it's super important that we celebrate together, that we have fun together. And there's nothing more nice in the world than being proud of each other and actually acknowledge the work that, we here do, that you do, that all of you do here together. That's just so cool. 
So 2019 kind of was the year of Wikimedia Awards, and um, the Wikidatacon Award is actually the little sister of the Coolest Tool Award that took place in Wikimania in Stockholm for those who were there. And um, some people from the Wikidata community came to me after the Coolest Tool Award and they were like, we should have this for Wikidata too, we should have it at Wikidatacon. And here we are. Second iteration, as you know, if you iterate on things, they can only get better. So, Wikidata Convert 2019. <laughs> so, a few weeks ago, we were asking for nominations for this award for like your favorite projects, no matter if it's a tool, an initiative, outreach activity, anything could be anything. And just want to say thank you so much from our side for um, sending us nominations and actually describing why this or that project is so cool that it should win an award. Really, thank you very much. We are awarding projects today because Wikimedia is all about collaboration, right? But um, behind the projects, there are actually people. It's like the Wikidata community. So think of the people when we award the projects. Don't forget the people, they are amazing and they're important. But we award projects. So, as said, we had a nomination process, there was a selection committee, they are all in the room, Anvil and Stuart and Amir and me, and uh, there were more people involved, as actually also non-Wikimedia people, for example my friend Muna, who you will find out what she did uh, later in this award ceremony, um, was also involved, and Liam of course as the second host ringmaster on stage, who will talk a lot this evening. <laughs> and uh, Lea Lacroix, who did the communication as always, and just was awesome and helped us. So we were awarding projects in nine different categories, editing, community building, ecosystem, newcomer friendly, Wikimedia integration, outreach, quality, languages, multimedia. If you have listened to the introduction that you just could uh, see or hear, and um, maybe have even written down some of the queue numbers, you will be able to go on the Wikidatacon tourist tour on Sunday or Monday and find what is on this map, but I'm not going to show you longer. Um, yeah, sorry, I spoiled the next slide. It's actually music from Lucas, who's also involved, our amazing pianist. And we come to the very first award category. It's, of course, editing, because if we don't edit, no data, no wiki data, so this is like the source of everything. And I'm very, very happy to announce this year's winner in the category editing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Up and be fine. <laughs> so I know there is at least one person who contributed to Open Refine in the audience. Can you wave? You don't have to come up with this, but wave. And everyone else who did something, wave. Woo Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, and I mean, we just can say Open Refine is cool and everyone believes it, right? And we can go on. But actually, maybe some of you don't know what Open Refine actually does. So for each award, we also have a project description. And I'm handing now over to Liam, who's going to walk you through the project. Yeah. So the great irony of me describing one of the most technically clever tools available in the Wikiverse <laughs> <laughs> to one of the most well-informed audiences about the Wikiverse. <laughs> but if you have used, we've, we've seen some of the people in the audience who have been building OpenRefine. Who in this audience has utilized OpenRefine? Great, okay, you don't need to know. <laughs> no, it's... Imp for the benefit of the tape and for the benefit of people who have not personally utilized this software, 
while we provide the prize behind the scenes here. The importance of this tool is that it allows you to take messy data and clean it to use for uploading or downloading or connecting to Wikidata and other things, but especially Wikidata. Originally a Google project that has now been turned into a community-led project for maintenance and, and uh, of, of messy data. The jury decided this deserved the award for editing for two primary criteria. One for the reconciliation function. It's one thing to clean messy data for anyone's use, but the ability to then connect it to the Wikidata items to provide the reconciliation service, does this mean that thing, does this mean that thing, yes, no, maybe, is extraordinarily important for then taking your personal data set and connecting it to the wider Wikidata universe semi-autonomously. They also decide, dis describe that the editing functions, the ability to export tabular data uh, and then use it directly or into quick statements was incredibly useful and powerful. And for those reasons, the uh, committee decided that Open Refine deserves the editing award for the inaugural Wikidata Awards. And so, and so for the actual presentation of the award itself, given this is a project on Wiki. We are going to see now live but, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's just me because as you see, no, nothing is here. <laughs> but hopefully, this works. I hope it works. If we refresh the page. Oh. Oh, we have a bug, I think, in the process. <laughs> um, so, yeah, imagine that the award is already here on the page. <laughs> so, go back and describe the picture. Okay. So, it will happen soon. We, look, we check later in the day. <laughs> but uh, I can show you simply here. Um, so, that map that was shown earlier was significant for the purposes of the award because this is, well, you, you did the work of, of taking this photograph so you should describe what the award is. Um, <laughs> so Wikidata is in our hearts, right? But uh, for a moment on uh, last Sunday evening, um, it was also in the very public space out there in Berlin. And um, so we went through the streets, not to um, random buildings, but to specific buildings, which ones you need to find out. It's, a, it's an interactive award, so it's a kind of a, a riddle for you. Um, I mean, this one is probably obvious that it's Technik <laughs> Museum, but I can promise you the others are not that easy. Um, and so we projected it to um, the walls of the buildings um, that we found kind of fit the category the um, awards get awarded in. Um, yeah, and had it for a moment in the public space and took a photo of that. That's the story of the award. Touching, right? <laughs> well, the, the idea is we provide the image, the one-time only piece of public art, temporary public art, as the image on the project page. That's the award. That's the award. Um, are we there already? Is it loaded? <laughs> okay. Nope. Okay. So just use your imagination and we go on to the next. Um, I'm sure you have it. Oh, the Wi Fi is off. No. Uh, yeah, ours. No, yeah, it's not that's us. That's Ooh, it's not our task. <laughs> um, we just go on, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Music. Oh, no, wait, wrong direction. <laughs> Okay, other than editing, what is important for Wikidata? Community building, any activity um, that helps to develop or to strengthen a community. And we're like, 
way, 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 way more activities that you can possibly avoid in the world. But um, in the end, um, where's the winner for this year? And the winner is... <laughs> Vicky Project yeah. India! <laughs> Congratulations! I think maybe there are people in the room. Can you wave if you are here? Yay! <laughs> cool! <laughs> Thank you so much! Congratulations! And I'm handing over you to you, I guess. Yeah. We can also try with Hodafing again, maybe? Maybe? No. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> that was a definite no from me. <laughs> so, well, while we upload that file to Commons and eventually place it on the, on the project page itself as the award, as the trophy for the project page, Wiki Project India, which in my opinion has the coolest logo award, <laughs> Uh, does anyone, does, are there any other wiki projects that, in Wikidata that utilize the, the national flag logo with the Wikidata bars? <coughs> no. I think that's pretty cool. So Wikidata Project India, as would be hopefully fairly evident, is about for and by the Indian community, the languages of the Indian subcontinent, and uh, supporting the content, the content and the contributors to that, uh, that geography, culture, history. The jury decided that this was particularly worthy of, of this award, this community was particularly worthy of this award uh, because of its ability to share skills to and among each other, the providing offline groups to, to run technical workshops, to run edit-a-thons, to run upload activities, label translation days, various kinds of projects uh, in real life and online to build a community that provides skills to each other um, and builds um, stability and, and community locally is, is fantastic, is worth worthy of attention for its community communication among itself and to the wider uh, Wikiverse through a regular newsletter and active accounts on social media and for the amount of content that they have produced for and by and about their subject area. This is uh, an image also from Commons of one period of times changes data ingestion about a particular state, West Bengal. Um, some of the example content uh, statistics there in the bottom, 50,000, sorry, 50 India properties, specifically 13,000 individual hospitals now have Wikidata items about them. So there's been an incredibly increase in the, the quality and the quantity of content about India, thanks largely to this community. And congratulations. Okay, oh. So, let's have a look again. Vicky Project India. <laughs> I've seen it, I, I actually looked at Open Refine a second ago, it's already there if you want to go back in history and look at Wikidata. <laughs> Which tab? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Ta da! We're doing this for the first time, so next next year it will be. <laughs> We're smooth. <laughs> um, okay. Ta -da! <laughs> All right. <laughs> so
So um, the next category is the category ecosystem. That's the word that we often use for anything that makes um, Wiki, uh, that shows how connected Wikidata is in the world with other projects, partners, and and so on. I think it's actually a great word. I like it. Um, ecosystem. It sounds nice. And um, as in every other category, we have a winner here for this year. And the winner is... Some of our paintings! <laughs> okay, you are also here. Can you wave so that people can see you? Okay, let's uh, have a deeper look into, in, look into some of our paintings. While we upload the file. The files themselves, the buildings themselves, are significant to the category. But to find out why, you might have to ask later mm -hmm. uh, specifically. Some of our paintings, soap, uh, does not have a logo of its own, so these are for uh, commons pictures that depict soap bubbles <laughs> of, of many. A uh, surprisingly large number of paintings about soap <laughs> and soap bubbles. Okay, I kid you not. Uh, so some of all paintings was the brainchild uh, to create a wiki data item about every notable painting. Notable in the context of is hung in a public gallery or major gallery or is painted by a person who is known as a, as a famous painter. Not every painting that has ever existed, but every notable painting. This has produced lots of work lists that have resulted from that and lots of side projects around that as an ecosystem. So every painter, every collection, what made this project cool from the perspective of the jury was the scale uh, of the leadership of the quality and of the impact. So these are some of the demonstrations of the work lists, demonstrations of the content. Don't expect to read this, I'm it's scrolling through quickly to demonstrate the sheer volume of work behind it. The leadership, the tools, the processes, the workflows, this you might recognize has now been turned into integrality, which is a, a tool usable by other projects for their uh, workflow management and quality assessment criteria. The consistently high standard of these items at the upload stage and also at the mass upload stage and then also the individual manual careful work to curate items at an individual and as a handcrafted list level. So it really shows the breadth of quality and quantity uh, of, of the Wikidata ecosystem and the impact. Wikidata, sorry, some of our paintings has proven incredibly important for demonstrating that GLAM data sets can work with each other at scale and openly and the, the interoperability of open glam as demonstrable by some of all paintings has improved the viability and the light bulb moment for so many people in the cultural sector that uh, the jury decided this won the award for ecosystem. You, it's already there. Congratulations. <laughs> that was quick. Um, okay. So. Newcomer friendly is the next category, and we have a winner in that category. <laughs> and the winner is Atelier Wikidata 
à Paris. People who are involved in um, Atelier Wikidata Data at Paris, um, please uh, wave that we can see you. Cool, thank you. <laughs> so there is actually a fun story what hap uh, that happened when um, we were trying to find a good spot to project Atelier Wikidata at Paris um, against the walls of a certain building in Berlin. And we were really like trying and holding up the projector. And suddenly a person approached us, and maybe you are watching. It was really nice to meet you. Um, so the person approached us and said, Oh, I just edited Wikidata yesterday. <laughs> and we were like, Oh, that's great. <laughs> you didn't see anything, okay? <laughs> and I think uh, he didn't reveal the secret. That's really nice. It was really nice to meet you. Thank you. But just as a um, tip, if you ever plan a secret Wikidata mission, and no one should know, be aware that Wikidata's editors are everywhere and you would not <laughs> think, right? So it can happen anytime. Okay. Let's have a look. <laughs> so the Wikidata Atelier at Paris is a series of newcomer-friendly workshops, introduction workshops at the Wikimedia France office in Paris that have been held over several years on a consistent schedule to build a community to be a welcoming home for a large city to slowly grow and steadily invite new people and bring them into our family. The jury decided that this was worthy of particular mention uh, of the various kinds of outreach to newcomers and newbies across the, across the Wikiverse. There we have the plushie matching. Um, because of its consistency, so there are lots of outreach activities that have happened for, for newcomers across Wikimedia and across Wikidata in particular. Yeah. Uh, but this one has been going for years. That is quite impressive uh, to, to keep working at, at something like that. And equally, uh, for obviously, for its welcoming atmosphere and consistently welcoming atmosphere over that time. The Newcomer Friendly Award goes to a project that has demonstrated its friendliness to newcomers, uh, quite naturally. So the award is now. Take a look, take a look. Uh, yeah. On the project page. All of these awards are, of course, going onto the top front corner of these project pages right now. You feel free to move them and place them where else you want. But for the moment, we're just stamping them in the front corner of the, of the wiki page. All right. Wikimedia integration is our next category. Um, we had some examples today in the birthday presents that um, would also fit under this uh, category, Wikimedia integration, um, and many, many other projects and approaches. And also here, we have a winner for this year. Wikidata Info Works and Commons! Mike! <laughs> yeah, thank you, Mike! <laughs> um, yeah, it's a... Uh, it, it was the most difficult uh, photo to take um, because um, this is a... Uh, window, as you can see, glass window, 
but it kind of fitted, maybe not to the, it fitted to the category, maybe not to Wikidata info box and comments so much, but um, it fitted to the category. And thank you very much. And we are having a deeper look into what actually Wikidata's info box on comments does. Yeah. So, as any of you who were here for the awards will have hopefully, sorry, for their birthday presents will have heard, this has since been improved and expanded in terms of Wikidata on Commons. But the jury found that this was particularly important and noteworthy for the integration category. Uh, Wikidata Infobox and Commons is the template that allows you to put a Wikipedia-like box of structured data on the category about that thing on Wikimedia Commons. Most important because it's multilingual. It's the first time we've really been able to show Commons is a multilingual project because it works in all languages with one template. This is one of um, Mike's model examples for the, the project telescopes and the uh, sorry, not, uh, um, the importance of the project being the complexity. It's hard to make a, a screenshot of a long info box. <laughs> so the jury found that this project was particularly useful for Wikidata integration for three main criteria. One is the scale, is the flexibility, is the fact that this one template works with over 300 properties and can pull them in with one query, with one, one uh, uh, field. The scale of this single tool uh, was the second criteria the jury found really important, that this is used across two and a half million categories on commons, demonstrates that it is useful to such a huge proportion of one of the most important most utilized sister projects in the Wikiverse, and that you can pull together these two projects to such a high degree of um, connectivity at such a high scale is a, is a fantastic demonstration. And demonstration, proof to Wikimedia Commons and to the, West, the, West, the rest of the Wikimedia projects that Wikidata can serve information that is useful, that is multilingual, that is available right now, uh, arguably first and best in terms of demonstrations that Wikidata as a service delivery, as a support for the other projects, has, has shown this uh, to the non-Wikidata community of Wikimedia most successfully. So for that, we give you an award. <laughs> Soon, we give ah, you an award soon. Ah, here it is. And of course, okay. it appears below the info okay, box. Okay, okay. <laughs> and the info box is long, right? <laughs> it's a long info box. <laughs> of course, and, and this image manages to combine Wikipedia, Wikidata Commons, Wikidata Con, Wikimedia category. Six, six terms of art in the one image. Yeah. When the award is added to the Wikidata item, it'll appear in the info box. Ooh, meta. The Wiki Data item. I have to make data. Mike? So the info box is based on code written by Doug Taylor, user of XS. He deserves a lot of the credit for that. And all the feedback the comms community has been giving to the info box. Whenever something's not quite right, people come and say that. And that's incredibly useful. So thank you for anyone that's done that. Yeah, we should to, to re-emphasize for this award and for all awards, uh, there are often in some individual people who have done a lot of visible work uh, for which they deserve uh, credit, but there is also a lot of people who've done a lot of pieces of work, the long tail of all Wikimedia work, and all the feedback provided by users around in more or less formal ways. Uh, all of which deserve some credit for being for bringing these projects to uh, to fruition. 
This is why we award projects. Not people. Not people. But uh, please still feel awarded, Mike and others. <laughs> Actually, really nice. Uh, could have gone on for longer. <laughs> Next category is outreach. Very important. We want to grow and um, become more people and connect with each other. Um, also, here we have a lot of activities that would uh, deserve recognition. And um, the committee decided for um, one project to be the winner for this year. <laughs> And of course, when you want to start an outreach project, you always go to the main train station, take a train, and start the outreach work. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Are you in the room? Is someone in the room? Woohoo! <laughs> Also tell all your friends who are not in the room, please, on Twitter, Telegram, uh, Wiki, um, any, any letter, traditional letter, anything you can think of. And I hand over to Liam again. So the Wikidata Lab. Wikidata Lab? <laughs> I forget. <laughs> the Wikidata Lab. Uh, this is a series of thematic editathons and presentations uh, at the University of Sao Paulo in, in Brazil. Uh, monthly meetings which have brought together researchers, so academics, people in the professional sectors like GLAM, students and, and Wikimedians who might be now or might formerly be in any of those categories uh, to work together to learn from each other uh, and, and share their experiences uh, in a, a regular project, a regular community forum. The jury found this project particularly worthy uh, for recognition and outreach because of its sustainability. So it has been, like some of our other prizes this evening, has been running for a number of years, has run regular activities over, over that period of time on different topics. The consistency of that outreach work uh, is significant. The practicality of the project has been noted. So that is the, the attempt to provide skills, practical skills, to people in this particular community, this particular language that is shareable among that wider community of the language. So it's one city, but across an entire uh, language community, which is uh, on several continents. And the focus on bringing people from different Wikimedia projects, not just talking to Wikidata people, but talking to Wikipedia people, to t Commons people, Wikisource people, and connecting each other with these new skills about how Wikidata can be helpful to them. Particularly for, as, they, as the nomination statement also uh, pointed out, to focus on a global South community uh, in doing that work. This is not um, people in the office in, in, in America or, or Germany. This, this is people in the community working to share skills uh, to each other. Finally, the integration. As mentioned, the work across different parts of the Wikimedia ecosystem has made Wikidata highly accepted, adopted, and integrated across the Portuguese Wikimedia projects uh, in a way that is that is notable compared to some of the other large uh, language communities. This is uh, a screenshot of the YouTube channel of all of the videos from this series. They're all available, they're all live streamed, they've all been shared on Commons and YouTube and various platforms. So the ability to then send that information to other communities was part of the design of this project. It's not just for Sao Paulo, not just for the students, or not only for the students, but for the wider community. So for that, 
the jury has declared Wikilab, Wikilab um, the, the winner. Which we placed on the talk page <laughs> of the item about the project. Uh, given we can't edit the uh, YouTube channel, <laughs> for example, yet. <laughs> so thank you. Just say quality, quality. <laughs> Our next category, quality. Um, anything that helps improving the quality of Wikidata's data? Um, Wikidata's data? Wikidata's data? Wikidata's data? Wikidata's data? Wikidata's data? I should know, actually. I, I work for Wikimedia Russia, but um, I, I don't remember. I think we said Wikidata, but maybe only in the third floor. <laughs> okay, quality. Um, we have a clear winner here. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the winner. I think I've seen him somewhere here. Like, it's a bit hard to see. <laughs> Winners mix and match. And the main um, contributor behind that is in the one, two, three, fourth row, Magnus. Um, yeah, let's look into it, right? <laughs> Mix und match. Mix und match. Um, so we have we have the the, the the creator of mix and match. Has anyone in the room used mix and match? <laughs> <laughs> so it's an influential project. This is a service which allows you to import authority control lists, lists of uh, vocabularies from external uh, providers of uh, of a list of um, controlled vocabularies and connect them, match them to Wikidata items and say yes this over in that external repository is that in our repository. In a automated, semi-automated manual approach, game approach, various methods of achieving that matching process. Create new items if it doesn't exist already, reject the item if it's not relevant to Wikidata at all. The jury is particularly impressed by this project for the quality award because it is fundamental now to how Wikidata works. Introduced in 2003, Mix and Match became core. Would you, who would consider Mix and Match to be a standard part of their Wikidata workflow on an almost daily basis? A large proportion of the audience. <laughs> the influential work of Mix and Match is, is also noted for this quality award because of its ability to make wide and deep connections of our collections of content and vocabularies to external, many external uh, um, vocabulary lists, controlled lists, to connect them and make what has been termed, Wikidata, termed the internet's duct tape, holding all of these disparate systems that have their own authority lists but don't talk to each other. And we're able to connect them all to each other. Uh, another description which I heard recently was the wood wide web, as in the mycelial network. 
the, the root structure underneath the soil of the forest that is the internet, connecting all of the forest together. Uh, mix and match has become so fundamental to Wikidata, which has made Wikidata so fundamental to the architecture of the internet. And for that, we awarded the Quality Award. for that we will award it the quality of award. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. So as you all know, the, this conference has the theme uh, languages, Wikidata languages. And so that's why we also have a category, um, languages. Um, anything that helps to increase multilingual content, and so on and so on, in the category languages. <laughs> Challenge. You want to no, talk more about, about it? Let's talk challenge. about it. All right, let's talk about the menu challenge. Uh, do we have anyone who helped create the menu challenge here in the audience? No? Yes? Well, one? Do we have anyone who was a participant in either of the rounds of the menu challenge? A couple, a few over around the audience. Excellent. So the Wikidata menu challenge, hashtag tasty data, is, um, is a Wikidata label campaign competition that has been run a couple of times over the years. This is a, a competition to take a list of a fixed, uh, fixed vocabulary list about food and to self-assign points for translating labels, descriptions, audio files, photographs about those food items. Uh, both of these works was coordinated out of <coughs> Wikimedia Sweden. Both of these were related to Swedish events. One was a food festival uh, where the eventual translations got placed as labels at the food festival around the, the park. And again, more recently at Wikimedia, Wikimania in Stockholm just a couple of months ago. The jury found this project particularly worthwhile, worthy of noting for the language category because of its combination of real life, or in real life and, and online um, work to bring Wikidata out into the restaurant, out into the park and the field and to connect the enjoyableness of food editing and fun and put them into one package. Uh, many projects and competitions and events happen entirely behind the computer. Uh, this as a language campaign is, is notable for that connectivity to being out and, and sharing food together. There's nothing more international and multilingual than the sharing of food and sharing of food stories and culture around food. Uh, multilingualism, obviously for the language prize, was the, was the other criteria that the jury noted in particular, uh, highlighting how Wikidata is a multilingual project in such a fundamental way by using core vocabulary relevant to so many cultures about such important topics that can then be taken forward and, and used. Replicability was the third criteria that was important for the jury. The fact that this can be created quickly, that the community, a community can build around this competition quickly, it can be run easily, cheaply, minimal infrastructure to create a useful outcome beyond possibly the scope that you were originally hoping. So the ease of use and the ease of reuse by different people for different activities outside food and outside Sweden, if you want, uh, was, was notable. This is the, the list from Stockholm, sorry, from Wikimania, 
Stockholm recently, and uh, many people in this audience were participants in that, sharing images, sharing their own words and the translations of those words in their home language. So for that, the jury has awarded the uh, languages prize. And there we go. Unfortunately, we are already at the end of our um, award. This is the last category. <laughs> but this is about multimedia. Multimedia is actually pretty cool. And we have a winner here. <laughs> and the winner is... With the most arty image, um, we hope. So, yeah, I hope you can still read it, but it's Isa. Congratulations. Are you in the room? Anyone? Up the back. Woohoo! <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. Cheers. So, Isa, for the Multimedia Award, on a, on a bridge girder. Anyone? Has, has anyone in the audience used or been involved in one of the ISA campaigns? And half the audience here. For a relatively new project, that's really quite impressive. This is one of the first projects to utilize structured data on commons as a third party uh, built on top of structured data on commons, uh, which itself is quite new. So the ability to then produce new uh, games on top of it has, is, 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 is fantastic. So ESA is a multilingual, mobile-oriented, um, also desktop, uh, project tool game to add structured data to commons uh, quickly, easily, and fun in a campaign environment. The jury found this particularly cool. This is a demonstration of how to go about it. So you choose a campaign from the home page. You can see the, the highlights of who is the most active user. You can see potentially different countries or different categories within that competition. So you can select your, your category. Uh, this is for um, public art in, in Wikileaks Africa. It gives you an image. You add a depicts statement. You can declare it to be prominent within the field, within the image itself. Add other ones that might not be quite so prominent and save. And that takes you directly across to the, uh, takes you, takes those depict statements and put them immediately in commons right there on the structured data tab. Mark is prominent if you want. So really easy interface, really fun way to take a particular uh, section of your campaign. The collaboration between different communities or different parts of the Wikidata community was important for the jury. So Histropedia, uh, Wiki in Africa, and the Structured Data on Commons teams worked together to help support this to demonstrate that uh, mobile-friendly campaign competition uh, programs could be built and could be fun on Structured Data on Commons and that it's scalable, that you can use this not just for that one activity for Wikilabs Africa, but as you could see in the original on the front page, there's lots of campaigns already, and you can just add your own for your community's project and run a competition straight away if you want. And for that, the jury decided to award the Multimedia Award to ESA.
As said in the beginning, there are may, way more cool projects out there that we could award um, with the committee. And also in summer, when the Cool Stool Award was over, um, several people feedbacked. That was actually great, but it would also be great to have an honorable mention section. And as this award is the next award, um, we decided to have an honorable mention uh, section, also because we felt less bad. Um, and it made us, yeah, it, it made us feel better because we could actually secretly award more projects when um, uh, we allowed ourselves to um, award. Um, yeah, and let's have a look into those projects. I think you need a second microphone. Does uh, someone, uh, is there a second microphone somewhere in the room? Right here. Okay, wait, there's, some, there's another one. Thank you. Okay, I think that makes it easier. Testing, testing. Test, test, test. So, in the okay. honorable mentions category, which there is one category, <laughs> <laughs> data drainer. This allows you to delete content in cleanup activities. Histropedia, everyone knows it. You can explore history across time, subjects, and events. And Babel tool. This lets you generate narrative stubs based on Wikidata quickly, easily, fast. PetScan, also known as the Swiss knife among Wikimedia's query tools. Yeah, quite indefinable, actually. It does all the things. PyWikiBot, a library of scripts that is used across so many tools and so many projects to help do mass editing activities. Quick statements. But already won the coolest tool award in summer 2019. That's Congratulations. It. If you're Congratulations. in the room, raise your hand. For your first we, we don't have a, a, a building on which to project all of those names at the same time. But all buildings belong to the honorable mention projects, right? All, all of our all, buildings have belonged buildings. to Yes. Yeah, <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, we are at the very end of your word. Can I make this a longer one or do you still want to say more? <laughs> <laughs> I think I want to say thank you and then we'll show people the credits and then there is a slide with all the images on it. So you can make a longer one, I think. Okay. CZ Boy say. <laughs>
And that's all there is for the awards. Thank you for attending.